Welcome to Web Wheel Products Caliper Installation Guide for MC225 Air Disc Brake Calipers. This video will outline the proper procedures for the removal and replacement of a web air disc brake caliper onto its carrier. First, the old caliper carrier assembly must be removed from the vehicle. Follow the vehicle service manual for proper removal guidelines, as well as all customary safety procedures. Install the old caliper carrier assembly into a sturdy vise or fixture to hold it securely. These components are heavy, so use caution while lifting. Grip the carrier beneath the machined face with the jaws of the vise. Gripping the carrier in other areas may cause the vise to lose grip or may bend the carrier when torquing the bolts. Next, the protective cap on the long guide pin must be removed. Use a hammer and screwdriver or pry bar to punch a hole in the center of the cap. Then pry the cap from its bore. Do not puncture the cap near the edge, as this could damage the caliper or the guide pin located beneath the cap. Use a 14 mm hex socket and breaker bar to loosen the bolt inside the long guide pin. Extra leverage may be required to break the bolt free. Only loosen the bolt nearest to the vise. Applying torque to the bolt opposite the vise could bend the carrier. To prevent component damage, do not use power tools during the caliper removal and replacement process. Now, remove the caliper carrier assembly from the vise and rotate the assembly so the short guide pin is near the vise jaws and secure the assembly in the vise. Remove the protective cap on the short guide pin by using a hammer and screwdriver or pry bar. Place the screwdriver on the side of the cap and strike the cap in an upward direction to pry the cap from its bore. Use a 14 mm hex socket and breaker bar to loosen the bolt inside the short guide pin. The two bolts holding the caliper to the carrier can now be removed using the 14 mm hex socket. Support the caliper while removing the bolts. Then remove the caliper from the carrier. Use caution while lifting as the caliper is heavy. With the caliper removed, inspect the carrier for damage and or wear. Then clean rust and debris from the mounting surfaces, including the counter bores and brake pad abutment surfaces, using a wire brush or other suitable tool. Now remove the printed instructions and the installation kit from the box. Note the new web aftermarket caliper's model number, serial number, and installation date. Then go to webadb.com backslash register to register the caliper. Locate the new guide pins in the installation kit with the caliper. The long bolt with pre-applied thread locking agent is used for the long guide pin. The short bolt is used for the short guide pin. The kit also comes with two guide pin cover caps. The short cap is used for the long guide pin and the tall cap is used for the short guide pin. Position the new web caliper onto its back so that the new guide pins can be installed. To avoid contamination within the guide pin bushings, use new gloves or clean hands to apply grease to the bushings. Use one pack of grease per bushing. Ensure that an even coating of grease is applied to the bushings and guide pins. Use only the grease provided in the kit as some types of grease can cause degradation of rubber components. Install the new long guide pin from the outside of the caliper. Push the guide pin to extend the rubber boot to help properly seat the boot into the groove. Once the long guide pin is installed into the long bushing, snap the rubber boot into the groove located at the end of the long guide pin. Repeat the greasing and installation procedures for the short guide pin. The boot retaining washers have a flat side and a recessed side. Install the washers with the recessed side facing the boot. The recessed washer fits inside the bottom lip of the boot. If the washer easily falls off the boot, Check the boot to ensure it is fully seated in the groove. Follow this procedure for the short guide pin and long guide pin retaining washers to ensure they are both properly installed. Lift the used carrier into place and onto the new caliper. Align the guide pins so that they pilot into the respective counter bores on the carrier. Make sure that the plastic boot retaining washers do not slide out of place. Install the caliper with the rubber boots in a compressed state to prevent air entrapment within the boots. Install the new short guide pin bolt into the short guide pin. Use a 14 mm hex socket to thread the bolt into the carrier by hand. Repeat this procedure for the long guide pin bolt. 
Use a ratchet to ensure the bolts are snug and the caliper is fully seated against the carrier to prevent the boot retaining washers from moving out of place. Now, reinstall the caliper carrier assembly back into the vise with the short guide pin closest to the vise. Use a calibrated torque wrench to tighten the bolt closest to the vise jaws to 133 foot-pounds or 180 newton meters as shown in the instruction diagram. Finalize the bolt tension by tightening an additional 90 degrees using a breaker bar. Cap installation tools are included in the Web Caliper Service Toolkit, part number KS0010. With the short guide pin closest to the vise, press fit the tall cap into the short guide sleeve bore using a hammer and cap installation tool. The tall cap should protrude 5 eighths of an inch from the caliper. Now rotate the caliper carrier assembly in the vise so that the long guide pin is near the vise jaws. Torque the long guide pin bolt to 133 foot-pounds plus an additional 90 degrees rotation. Press fit the cap using a hammer and cap installation tool. The short cap should be installed within 1 16th of an inch of flush to the end of the caliper. Remove the caliper carrier assembly from the vise. Congratulations, the assembly is now ready to be reinstalled onto the vehicle following the instructions in the vehicle's service manual.